So if you happen to be one of those women that is married to a man who just won't talk, which from my understanding may be any woman that's married to a man, this video is for you because we're going to talk about what to do if your husband just won't talk. So I hear this all of the time uh, from women that their husbands just won't communicate and they won't talk to them and it leads to a lot of frustration and ultimately unhappiness in the marriage. And so today I want to talk about some ideas or solutions or suggestions to you that may help you in your relationship with your husband. So before we get to that, let's back up and talk about some fundamental principles, because again, this channel is about principle-based living, which basically says that there are principles or laws that govern the world in which we live. So just as there are natural laws that govern this world, like gravity, there are also laws that govern relationships and happiness and success. The other thing that's important to understand is that everything in life we do for a reason, or we wouldn't do it. So if you think back to why you married your husband, there's a reason that you did that. And one of the things that's important to understand and to remember is, unless it was an old shotgun wedding, then you probably weren't forced to marry him. So you married him of your own free will, your own choice. And that's one of the principles or laws that govern the world in which we live, which is choice. And that's in any situation or circumstance, we have the choice of how we're going to respond. And there are three things that we have complete control over how we respond. Those things are our conscious thoughts, our emotions, and our behavior. So that's another principle or law, which is the, the law or principle of control. And that is that we only have control over those three things. Again, our conscious thoughts, our emotions, and our behaviors. Everything else is just influence. So if we back up to the time when you made a decision to marry your husband, there was a reason why you chose to marry him. Now, if he didn't communicate with you at the time that you married him, and yet you chose to marry him anyway, that tells us a little bit about about you. So let me let me tell you a quick kind of story or joke, you know, about that, about the different perspectives or paradigms. And a paradigm is like a lens through which we look at and see the world. So I heard this one time that the different approaches between men and women when they get married. And so when the woman thinks about getting married, she's all excited about the wedding. She has in her mind, I'm going to have this chapel wedding. And so in her mind, she's thinking, yeah, I'm going to be standing at the back of the chapel. I'm going to be looking down the, the aisle. My husband or husband-to-be will be standing near the altar and they'll be playing my favorite hymn. So women oftentimes enter into a marriage relationship with an aisle, altar, hymn perspective in the relationship. Whereas a man oftentimes He's more thinking about maybe the physical side of the relationship. He's thinking about the honeymoon and what comes after the marriage. And so a man oftentimes is focused more on that physical side or the sexual side of the relationship. And oftentimes when a woman comes in, and sometimes it could be the man too, but you come into the relationship expecting that certain things that maybe already exist in the relationship can be altered or changed. Just consider on your side, when you got into the relationship with your husband, what was it that attracted you to him? What were the things that you liked and loved about him? And what were the things that influenced you to want to be with him and to marry him? If you did come into the relationship with the idea that those irritating or annoying things that your husband possessed would just go away after you got married, and then found out that after getting married, maybe actually those irritating or annoying things magnified or increased. I'm going to give you in a minute a couple of things that you can do to work on and to change that. The other thing is maybe when you were dating and courting, your husband communicated 
well with you and you didn't even notice there was any kind of problem in your communication. But after getting married and over time, he began to communicate less and less with you. So one thing to consider is, again, everything we do, we do for a reason. So if we go back to when you were dating and courting and your husband was talkative and communicated and, and shared with you, there was a reason that he was doing that. Now we don't know for sure what the reason is, maybe, it's because he was trying to change himself to be something that you wanted him to be in order to get you to say yes to him. So maybe he was forcing himself to talk more to you and to get out of his comfort zone, but he was still willing to do that because you were that important to him in the relationship. So if he's no longer communicating with you, then something has probably changed. Okay, so what to do now. If we go back to the principles that we talked about, one of the principles is the principle of control. And we talked about there's only three things that you can control. Conscious thoughts, emotions, and behaviors. Which means how much control do you have over your husband? The answer is zero. Now think about in your own life. If somebody is trying to get you to change, what's the underlying message that they're sending to you? Is it that you're okay the way that you are? Or is the message that you're not okay? And most of us, even men, struggle with self-esteem and being okay. We want the love and acceptance and validation of others. So if you are trying to get your husband to change and you're telling him all of the time that he never talks and you wish that he would open up and talk, maybe you're doing that again because you love him and you want to communicate with him. But the underlying message may be that he feels like he's not okay, that he's not good enough, he's not living up to your expectations. Well, when we feel like somebody is trying to change us, we have a tendency to dig in our heels and to resist. And oftentimes then we create more of what we don't want. And so the best way to get what we do want is to focus on what we do want and not focus on what we don't want. This goes back to what we talked about earlier where in the beginning, maybe there were some minor things about your husband that you tended to dismiss, but now you seem to focus on them more. And in doing so, they magnify or increase. So there's something in our brain called the reticular activating system. It's a filter. And what it does is it filters out irrelevant information, but it allows us to see information that we're looking for. So if we're focusing on the negative things about our spouse, we're gonna to tend to see those things more often, even if they're really not even there more often than they've ever been. They're gonna to appear to be there more. So a couple of solutions that, that I would suggest to you if your husband doesn't talk. First of all, look back to when you were dating and did you have a concern about him talking or not talking at that time? If not, then I think you have to look at that something has changed and it may be that in your communication, you respond or you say things to him in such a way that, that he doesn't want to communicate. Maybe he has a feeling that whenever he shares anything, uh, he's criticized or belittled or whatever it is. So just look on your side of it and see how do you respond when he is communicating with you? Are you responding in ways that encourage him to open up and to share more? Or might you be doing some things that has influenced him in a way to where, you know, he doesn't really feel safe communicating with you. And if there are some things that you're doing, then try to change that up. You could also go to your husband and just tell him, say, you know what, I've noticed and I feel like, you know, we're not communicating like as well as I would like. And you know, I've, I've told you that and I'm sorry about how I've approached you in the past. I'm going to work on changing my side of things and I just hope that we can begin to communicate more. And if there are things that I'm doing or not doing in our communication, let me know what those are and then I'll work on me. So in doing this, you have the control and the focus on you, on what you have control over rather than on what you don't have control over. And then the other thing would be begin to focus on what you want to see in the relationship with your husband instead of the things that you don't like. And as you begin to focus more on those things, you will see more of those things. And then it's kind of the domino effect. 
that as I'm seeing more that I love and like in my husband, I'm going to see more and that relationship will grow and improve. So the solution, if you've got a husband that just won't talk, really is to take the focus off of him. Stop trying to change him or to get him to do something or be something that he's not. Focus on what's working and what's good about him. Look at what are the things that you are doing that may be influencing him one way or another and see what you can do to change you. And then watch and see what that does in your relationship with him and see if he doesn't begin to open up and to want to talk to you more. Thanks for watching today. Hopefully you found some information that you can find useful and beneficial to you in your relationships. If you like anything that you've heard today, go ahead and, and like our video on YouTube. If you're watching this on LinkedIn and you find the content helpful, so go ahead and begin to follow me on LinkedIn. And if you want more information, visit our website, Principle Based Living. You'll see that listed down below.